hello and welcome back to my channel in this video it's going to be a quick slideshow of all the puzzles that i did over the past two months may and june of 2023 okay the first puzzle in this video is called tactful cat it is a wood best jigsaw puzzle it's a wooden jigsaw puzzle in fact, Woodbest sent me two of their puzzles for review, and if you look in my description box below, you will see that there is a discount code if you enjoy or think you would enjoy working on these types of puzzles. Okay, this is a Karen Puzzles Gradient Puzzle. It is her 1,000-piece puzzle that she has had produced by the company Ravensburger. Now, Karen Puzzles did initially release a 3,000 piece gradient puzzle but I simply do not have the space to work on that puzzle. Now if you'll notice with this puzzle there are superimposed puzzle pieces on top. Well when I put this puzzle together I saved those pieces to last and so they were like little mini puzzles that went on top of the main puzzle. Okay this next puzzle is a 500 piece puzzle called Bouquet and Birds it is an Ibu jigsaw puzzle. Obviously, it's a round puzzle. Ibu jigsaw puzzles come in round, rectangular, and square, and I have a variety of each. This one was a joy to do. It was pretty easy, despite some of the similarities in textures and colors. This next puzzle is called Planet Earth. It's another Ibu puzzle. As I just mentioned, they have round, square, and rectangle. You can see here that this is a square puzzle. And what's great about this puzzle is that it features endangered and critically, nearly endangered species. And I think there were 21 or 22 different animals pictured in this jigsaw puzzle. I loved working on this one. Okay, this next puzzle is a 1000 piece Colin Thompson collage puzzle called Kitchen Cupboard. It's by the company Ravensburger and Colin Thompson is a great, great illustrator. I love his work and you'll see maybe one more at least in this particular video of the puzzles that I have done by him. Any type of gradient, collage, multi-image puzzle is something that I've always enjoyed working on. Here we have one of my White Mountain jigsaw puzzles that I really loved working on. It's a collage puzzle called Mystery Books, another 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. I thought perhaps when I saw this puzzle or began to work on it that I would have read at least a few of these, but I have only read a couple, such as the Agatha Christie books, the 39 Steps, and maybe one or two more. But I loved this puzzle. It was a breeze to put together. And I believe there's a video on this channel where I try to put each book cover together one at a time. Okay, I have another Wood Best puzzle. My second one that I received for review on this channel. This one is called Succulent Plant. It's a great little puzzle. I love round puzzles. And if you... Earlier when I showed the cat puzzle, it was shaped like a cat, and here this one is round. I love wood best, and I know I will be buying more of their puzzles. So here we have another Ibu puzzle. Yes, Ibu is one of my favorite brands. I have nearly three dozen or a little over three dozen of their puzzles. This is another square jigsaw puzzle, 1,000 pieces, called Cats Around Town. I think I have three cat puzzles from Ibu and it was just a random pick for me to work on this one. Surprise, 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 another Ibu puzzle. This 1000 piece square puzzle is called Hummingbird and Gems. I loved it. It was a bit of a challenge, but it was definitely very, very enjoyable. I just love the Ibu brand and you're going to see a lot of these puzzles on this channel. This next puzzle that I completed is called The Reading Room, a 1,000 piece Ravensburger jigsaw puzzle. I am sorry about the glare. This is not the best picture I could have taken of this puzzle, but I did enjoy working on it. Now I wanted to tell you that I just got a White Mountain catalog in the mail and this puzzle or a very similar version of this puzzle 
is available on White Mountain. But where that middle bookshelf is with the telescope in this image is actually a doorway in the White Mountain version. But this one here I got from Barnes & Noble. It's in the smaller square box for easier puzzle sorting or, or storage when you are trying to keep your puzzles organized. Here you have a Ravensburger Disney Alice in Wonderland 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. I loved this puzzle. I bought two of these Disney puzzles from Barnes & Noble earlier in the year and this is one of the ones that I've done. I think the other one I have is a Winnie the Pooh one. Now here's a fun one sent to me by my friend Hope and it's called Music Cats. It's a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle square by Mud Puppy. I've done a couple of these that you'll see in this video. This one is fun. It's called Music Cats and each individual puzzle, there are nine, well each individual image is a reminiscent of somebody in the pop music world such as Freddie Perkery for Freddie Mercury or Tuna Turner for Tina Turner. Polly Purton for Dolly Purton for Dolly Parton and so forth. One more I'll just say Prince for Prince. Love this puzzle. It was a breeze and only took a couple of hours to put together. Here we have one of my favorite puzzle illustrators and that is Charles Wysocki. This is a Buffalo Games 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle called Timberline Jacks. I have maybe two a dozen to two dozen of Charles Wysocki jigsaw puzzles. One day I need to just pull out my entire collection, but this one was a breeze. I loved working on it and I'm glad to share it with you. Here was a quick one. It's called Ginger Kitty on Chunky Blanket. It was only a 300 piece puzzle and you would think it would only take me an hour to, or two, but it took me about three or four hours because that gray rug those pieces were really very, very intricate for such a lower piece count puzzle. Now, it's uh, from Milton Bradley, so it's the first time I've worked on this particular brand. So it was a great joy to do, and I got it from my friend Hope. Here we have another Ibu puzzle. This one is called Whimsical Village. It's a 1,000 piece square jigsaw puzzle. I thought this would be kind of easy because of the different buildings, but with all the red in the roofs, I had a bit of a challenge. But once I started to realize the textures for each roof was different, it was a breeze to put together. Well, 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 this would be my most challenging puzzle to date. This is Sun by Blue Kazoo Puzzles. I have the earth and the moon and on various Facebook groups I asked which puzzle they would think I should do first and this was the one that got the most votes I think 21 or 22 votes I am so glad I worked on this puzzle simultaneously with another one because this was a real challenge but it was definitely a joy Sometimes when you have a very challenging puzzle, then you realize at the end that you kind of wasted your time. But this was definitely something I'm glad I did. In fact, I glued this jigsaw puzzle. This next puzzle was gifted to me again by my friend Hope. It's another 500 piece mud puppy puzzle, a collage puzzle of nine individual puzzles that make up this image. And it's called Artsy Cats. And each puzzle or mini puzzle is reminiscent of a favorite famous artist safe here's another enjoyable Ravensburger jigsaw puzzle that I did it's called home tweet home and this was a Barnes & Noble purchase so it came in the smaller box now I loved the image but I didn't look closely at it so I did not realize with all the yellow purple yellow flowers purple flowers and the backdrop being of the sky that it was going to be a challenge, but it was an enjoyable puzzle to work on. Now this next puzzle, I was inspired to buy this puzzle because the Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers number two was this year. I believe that that was done early June. There was a Google spreadsheet for this puzzle for anybody that wanted to time themselves while working on it. Now I'm kind of glad that I didn't 
decide to time myself because I broke my foot right around the same time. And because of that, I was working a little bit on this puzzle at a time and also co-working on puzzles in bed on a different puzzle surface. I love this puzzle, but I'm not going to lie. It was a real challenge and I would have never been able to speed with this puzzle, even if my foot wasn't injured. Now look at this one. This is a Charles Wysocki puzzle. It's the Cats of Charles Wysocki, a 750 piece puzzle called Ethel the Gourmet. Now when I took this puzzle out, I put it in my Ravensburger Puzzle Keeper and worked on it in bed. And I did not realize that sometimes the Charles Wysocki Ravensburger puzzles come in random cut shape or random piece shape and or should I say random shape pieces. So I've said that three different ways. But let me tell you, it was a bit of a challenge. I did lose a piece that I found after I put the puzzle back in the box. So now I have all of the pieces of this puzzle, but I still enjoyed working on it. Gradient puzzles are my jam. Look at this Lego puzzles from Chronicle Books. Now this is my first time working with this brand and I'm going to tell you it was a great, great puzzle. What I loved about this puzzle is I did not sort it. So it took maybe five or six hours, but if I had sorted this puzzle, it would have obviously gone together much quicker, but I loved it. I did not glue this puzzle because this is a puzzle that I want to do again after I sort it. Okay, the last puzzle in this video is the Awesome Alphabet Number 3 puzzle by Colin Thompson. It's the letters C and D. It's a Ravensburger jigsaw puzzle. I currently did A, which is an individual puzzle, B, which is an individual puzzle, and then this combination C and D. Now, this alphabet series that Colin Thompson has done only goes up to the letters I and J. We fans of his are really hoping that he will produce more if not the rest of the alphabet puzzles but there are a couple things i want to mention number one he's 81 years of age and i hear that he's not in the best of health number two is in on the poster on the back of the poster he said that he was combining letters to get these puzzles produced as quickly as possible and there is a puzzle he planned that to combine with three letters. So all we can do is wait and see what happens to see if there'll be any more. In any event, that is the end of this video. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch it, especially since most of these puzzles I've already shown here on this channel. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this collection of the most recent jigsaw puzzles that I have completed.